Yeah, thank you. Uh, how, how many people this is their first time? Cool. A lot. Awesome. Welcome. Um, so, uh, the hello to everyone online as well. So we're, we're also streaming it online. So you could see before the, the different people that were chatting online, also watching it there. So everyone wave to them. Unfortunately, we haven't done the wave function yet, so they can't wave back. So later, later we'll do that. Um, uh, okay, so uh, general format, we're going to have sort of two talks. Um, one will be online and one will, um, he, Samuel will be joining us from, uh, uh, from Singapore. I don't know if Samuel's there at the moment. Maybe not that. Uh, he's going to join in there pretty soon um, for, the second, for the second talk. Um, and uh, we'll have a break in between um, so you can chat amongst yourselves um, for a little bit in between. Uh, and then a little bit of networking afterwards. And anyone who's interested, we normally go to a, a bar around the corner, the O'Shea's in uh, 33 slash 1, um, the Irish bar. So it's like sort of a five minute walk from here um, if you're interested in meeting more people and networking. So um, please feel free to join us there afterwards. Um, we're also always interested in new speakers. So if you've never given a talk before, we'd love to be your first. Um, we, you can do talks on anything from something that you've uh, been working on for years and you're an expert at or something that you just want to learn. It's a great way to put a deadline on learning something. Um, if you decide there's a, there's a new piece of technology or a new library or something like that that you've always wanted to learn, um, picking it up, doing a small project with it, or um, and then giving a talk on it is a great way of, of doing that. Um, so, and there's also beginner subjects as well, like uh, you know how to do something that you might consider basic, but to other people uh, it's not an area of Python that they really um, got into. So, yeah, if you if you have any ideas on on talks you'd like to give, come and see me in the break. Um, and if anyone has any announcements or anything, um, please come and see me and we can do that afterwards. Um, or if you'd like to do a lightning talk at the end, we can also do that. Um, cool, I think that's everything. Um, hi, hi guys. guys. Uh, where, where, where is it? Mm -hmm. yeah, thanks. Thank you. Uh, this uh, short speech will call the session Sigurd Alchemy, uh, what beginners should, should know. Uh, I'm going to explain a couple of things, simple and uh, just, uh, just, simple, just a couple of simple things about sessions and uh, answer questions a beginner might have. Actually, uh, I met you know, Sigurd Alchemy about a half a year ago. Uh, and came from uh, Django world, and uh, since Django where implements active uh, record pattern, the session just blew my mind. Actually, <laughs> um, I hated it at first, so did my colleagues, which is why I decided to uh, make this short talk in order to uh, help some guys like me to understand it. Uh, so. Uh, First of all, for those who don't know what SQL Alchemy is, it's a library. Consists of where, where it? it consists of two distinct uh, components, the core and the, the ORM. Mm -hmm. Sessions uh, are part of the ORM. The core contains um, kind of is uh, the core is kind of a framework upon which the ORM is built. Consists. Um, the core contains schema types, uh, connection pool, uh, dialect, and so on, uh, mechanism for building queries, and so on. The ORM is just ORM. The mechanism for defining uh, in declarative way um, classes for uh, which maps to tables, to uh, relation database tables, and uh, the session. So, basically the session, what, what is it? Mm. 
in general sense, the me mechanism that uh, represents uh, yes, sorry. It's a mechanism that establishes all the communications with all, all the conversations with the database and represents kind of a holding zone of uh, all the objects you load from the database and associate with the session. So, uh, the, uh, and basically, it implements two uh, important uh, patterns. That were new for me, but uh, are not going to be new for uh, people who came from Java world. Yeah. The first is is uh, unit of work. Actually, it's a pattern that provides a system of, of, of automating this process of persistent all changes in state to the database in the most effective manner possible. So we can read it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to explain it uh, in in examples and details. Actually, from this uh, from unit of work for perspective, the session represents a uh, business transaction, actually. And uh, I'm going to compare it to active record. Uh, two examples uh, implemented in the first in active record and then uh, in, uh, in cycle of First one. Here we see uh, we have two models. And a simple, uh, simple snippet you can see. So, uh, what the problems we can find here, as you can see, it, it um, is defined in Django language. You can see uh, all the fields of user are required. They are not low. So, in the function when you uh, save, uh, when, when you want to save uh, a user, you have to you, know, you, you have to get all the values. You have to make sure that you have all the values. Second thing, mm -hmm. when you uh, go down and uh, look over address, uh, the, another problem uh, appears. Appears you, uh, the problem is you can't, uh, for example, save a phone number until you, uh, until you have saved the user. And uh, yeah, you, you, you can get uh, the fields, the value of fields for, for the user later in, uh, in address when they have type fields. But you have to care about the right order of, uh, of those entries. You have to do this uh, manually by yourself. Actually, Active Records uh, allows to solve this problem. You can use uh, Yeah. Uh, yes. I need to. So so yeah, I don't worry about what what I want. You can solve this problem problem easily. First of all, uh, by uh, carrying out the right order of the values and fields. Second, by uh, accumulating all the data in memory, you can save later the right order. And, uh, and, and another thing, another problem, well, it's not kind of a problem, but uh, the rubric appears here. You can see that um, in this case you may have, if, if you just use save and save uh, one record, record by record, you, uh, you can you send uh, extra, too, too many queries to database, it's not optimal. And uh, you need to work uh, can solve these problems. Here's the same example with uh, unit of work with the session. It's a defining of the same classes with uh, ORM, so called ORM. Uh, it's not complicated, actually, the same, all the same. Um, you, you can find here is create a session. Uh, we define kind of a business transaction here. Uh, create user, we don't have to worry about it. Uh, having all the fields. At, uh, at the step of says add the preview uh, in the previous uh, in the pre on the previous slide it was uh, user save. If you have to uh, w w worry whether you have all the fields, 
of the verified fields have exactly the state because uh, by the later in address in fields. Uh, later when uh, loop over address, you can you don't have to worry about uh, whether you save the user or not. You just uh, create phone number and uh, add it to the station. It does when you call add when you call the add method. It doesn't send any queries to the database. It doesn't flush. It just accumulates all the data in memory. So uh, and uh, resolves all the problems with uh, the other, with all the right order later when you call the commit. What it does. It performs the topological sort of uh, all the objects you know, it, it holds uh, and manages the transaction. First of all, all the transactions are how sh I will show you exactly uh, which queries will be the full set database. It group uh, all the insert, insert operations, for example, if you, have, uh, if you want to insert uh, several uh, records to the same database, it does the same thing also in active record in the previous, uh, in the pre in the previous example. Uh, you, you you have to send, you, you, you will send uh, a query for each record. It's not optimal. Uh, using the session, it will be, be, before it flushes all the data, it moves um, all the certain updates uh, operations, uh, resolve the right order, so you don't have to worry about uh, what you said, say the user then flushes all the data, all the data and sends commit. Here is an example, and uh, some uh, list is data, for example, of data show, and uh, SQL, when, which you get as a step says as commit. As you can see, uh, here, <coughs> the, the first insert and the users, uh, it will group, um, it will group, uh, say it, Users don't know that, uh, which one, but we'll link it <laughs> here. And uh, in the previous example, you would, you would, you would get uh, two, two uh, insert statements. So for Donald first, and so for Donald, we'll link it. We'll mark all the value uh, uh, set. So you would have more, uh, more queries. Uh -huh. With uh, with the sessions, you need to work. Right? You reduce you can you reduce the number of queries, you reduce load to the database. It's good for when you have multiple updates. You, you can solve this. You can do the same with every record. You, you just call bulk itself. But you have to do this manually, and you have to work out. You have to care about it. With the session, you have to do this at all. And you can see that uh, it works. It takes care of right order of certain and update action. Second important uh, part of the second session of the dance is identity map. Uh, this pattern maintains the liberty identity unique map and holds objects for a particular session. Actually, the implementation of unique work is built on this, on this mechanism. This session contains kind of a structure that is called identity map. It holds uh, objects you accumulate in, in memory and uh, mm, track their uniqueness by ID. What does it mean? Here is again, uh, another example, similar. Again, with active record. If you, uh, what it does, if you can see, we send, we Let's say we want to get uh, the same user from the database with the same record, the same row, uh, four times, in mm -hmm. four different places in program of code. So in this case, the active record will have uh, uh, four di different and uh, mm -hmm. distinct objects, so a set of files in this case. And uh, in, uh, in this case, you'll send four uh, queries for, for selecting. You have to uh, worry about again about uh, correct order and the same database, as saving mm -hmm. saving updates to the database, as, as you can see here. 
very far and you have to worry about uh, quality of the behavior, as I said. In the case of identity map with the search, you have to do this. First of all, you can reduce the number of uh, queries uh, for selecting. In this case, we only have three queries. Uh, identity map, the this, this session keeps uh, stores and, keep, and keeps uh, uniqueness by all, of objects by ID. So when you get a query by ID, U3 and U4, but by ID, you'll, you'll get the same. We'll get, this, uh, we'll get the same object and we won't send any queries to database. Even if you send queries to the first two rows, you'll, you'll get the same object. The, the session will understand that uh, the row is, is the same and uh, it returns you the same object. And, uh, because of this, you don't have to worry about, uh, well, you reduce the number of queries, you reduce the number of a lot of database, and you don't have to worry about uh, saving, uh, saving updates, uh, flash uh, updates in the database. In, 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 in this example, should you expect so? Uh, I, I, I think it's, it's clear here. Yeah, and actually, that, that's all. That, that's the last slide, and the last snippet. And those are two most important things that, uh, one, yeah, most important things that not only beginners, but anybody should know understand about the sessions. Yeah, and uh, all, all the rest of the information, like the common patterns of, of using sessions, in scoping or uh, a common part of wrapping a request if you write your application or API in a session, session is described in the documentation. So it's documented pretty well, but those, uh, those topics are not described. And, uh, and that's all. Maybe you know, but what is the state of the code for anything IO these days for uh, the current uh, stable version 1.4? Mm -hmm. Current stable version 1.4 supports the CKO, uh, supports it pretty well. Uh, <laughs> but there is a but. Uh, if you uh, go through the documentation, of previous versions or uh, current version, you'll see that uh, the same sessions as it was when you told uh, are good for currency. Uh, as those threads, I think, are even slowly. In theory, they support it, but uh, I don't think somebody would recommend you this. We try to you use SQL uh, algorithm with, I think, in, in better versions. Yeah, um, we we put it like so. Uh, it, it, it supports, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. 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 Y